Howdy. I'm CyberArch with our wonderfully crafted. And today I wanted to show off some wallpaper engine art. This is art that I drew and then I put it into the Steam app wallpaper engine and then I animated it. And if you see, it's reactive. So this is my desktop, by the way. This is just in the background in the desktop. And you can see that the red are fighting the blue. And they follow your mouse depending on where you're at. And then the screen itself moves around. And so let's check out how about my wasps. Do you know that wasps are actually ants, not bees? So that is an ant biting a wasp's ass to get him to lift his ass so he can walk underneath him to get the water over here. I, I took that picture. So this is earth rotating in the background. And this one's not as reactive. It's just light. <clears throat> Let's check out... How about this guy? And then this guy has stuff coming out of the eyes. And it follows as well. But it has a nice delay. Now, keep in mind, you get to set up all of this stuff in Wallpaper Engine when you make them. And it's really not difficult to do. And it's so much fun to have. Look how interactive these are. You could even make them for cats and stuff. Like if I, I probably should make one for my cat. I'd never thought about using this to do a cat one. Let's see. I've got a smoking one. So then I just add fire and then some smoke. I've got another smoking one. Um, same thing. We're added in. This is a picture I took and then I added in the dragon shooting and stuff. <clears throat> and I've got, I don't know what that one, oh, this is a dragon shooting stuff. How about something more just chill? Here's a picture of a lake, and I added in some sun rays and some smoke, and over here's a campfire, so I added the campfire in, and I added some leaves coming down in the water ripple. But this took just a few minutes. It's really fun to do. Some ripples for fish. If you've never jumped in and tried to do anything with uh, the desktop engines or with your backgrounds, man, you're really missing out with the amount of different stuff that you can put in and you can play with and you can add into add in just a normal pictures that you took or stuff you get from the internet or stuff that you drew and make um, interactive. So this one, I drew the picture and then I added in this dragon so the dragon would be shooting fire and then I added in all the other stuff and the smoke and the light and it, it looks cool I like it and then I've got under the sea this is another really fun one um, so I added in the bubbles and the lighting effects and this is w another one that I drew and then I've got Uncle Sam you got Uncle Sam there. It's the same thing. Added in some fire. So pretty nifty. If you haven't tried it out, oh, here's um, here's a lake with a fish I caught jumping. And so I just have like it looping, and I put a campfire in the back with some smoke and some light rays, and then a reflection off the water. Um, I think a lot of people just don't know how powerful and epic it is and then you can put these out on the workshop so you can go get any of these i think you just search cyber Axe probably and then you can see all the ones that i've made but yeah it's pretty epic to see what's out there so check it out it's on steam i i think it's maybe a few dollars maybe it's free i, I don't even remember but yeah I just wanted to show off some of the art and you can have a if you have multiple screens you can have a different one on each screen or they can span people worry about performance and stuff but you can have them um, just pause or mute and they can also pause and mute when they're covered so they don't really take up much but they also keep uh, you from having burn in on your screens if you're leaving them on all the time 
So, I'm CyberX with Outlandishly Crafted, and this has been just checking out wallpaper.